Uh, my name is uh, Sri Ramanathan. I am uh, Kony CTO, and in my role as CTO, I uh, manage and run our engineering and research and development team, and also, uh, you know, represent our point of view when it comes to uh, mobility as a whole. Well, uh, primarily because you can build great apps on our mobile platform. You know, that apps that represent the best in terms of user experience, right? And the fact that we have technology that covers the entire mobile life cycle, starting all the way from design through to development, testing, you know, management, DevOps, as well as analytics. So we cover the whole life cycle. So you're able to, you know, maximize the user experience and do it in a way that reduces your total cost of ownership. So that's probably some of the key reasons why you would uh, buy technology and use technology from Kony. Uh, what we're announcing as part of our H1 release uh, primarily focuses on two or three major themes. The first theme is developer productivity, where the visualizer and studio product get combined. So from a developer perspective, you know, a lot of extended capabilities to be able to design and develop your app. The second theme is around our mobile fabric product, you know, a set of capabilities around API management, for example, that allow you to handle the API lifecycle completely in terms of envisioning an API, designing it, building it, executing it, and managing it. So all of those elements within within the platform. And the, and the third one is around, you know, wearables, support for wearable technology, you know, things like the new Apple Watch that's causing a lot of buzz in the market. We have the most comprehensive suite of, you know, mobile lifecycle products that exist in the industry. We're, we're pure play, we focus on mobility only. And so our technology lets you uh, design apps using our visualizer product, lets you you know, design services in our backend mobile fabric that you can then tie the app to using our studio product. Uh, and then you're able to, you know, test your app after you've built it, manage it, and then get a lot of analytics around the app after it goes into production. So we support the entire life cycle with a focus on DevOps. So th at a very high level, this is kind of the breadth and depth of our uh, capability for mobile. We're about cross-platform dev. You know, how do we make a developer as productive as quickly as possible? It starts before that at the design phase, right? So our visualizer tooling, right, lets a designer, you know, envision an app, you know, make sure that it looks exactly the way it's supposed to look. Across devices, it feels exactly the way it's supposed to feel across all of the designs, uh, devices you're designing for. And then you're able to uh, take that project, bring it into the studio where the developer, you know, doesn't focus on the UI. He's able to wire the app. He's able to discover the services that he needs. Maybe go build those services if they don't exist. Wire the app to those devices, uh, to those services, and then go live fast across all of the channels that you build for. So the, the tool chain, um, on the designer side, it is based on WebKit and Chrome, and on the developer side, it's it's a studio product that's based on Eclipse, which a lot of developers are comfortable with. Well, I think there are many reasons why you know the cloud is where it's at today, especially in mobile. You know, uh, cloud is all about you know agility, velocity, scalability, right, and cost of ownership. If you are an IT infrastructure guy, then for you, when it comes to mobile, cloud means, look, low cost of entry. I'm able to get into it fast. I don't have to go install my own infrastructure, right? It helps me get started fast. If you're a developer who wants to prototype something, it helps you get the project started very, very fast. Once you're in production, you know, let's say that you've got a lot of unpredictable load. You know, you don't know how you're going to react to that load. The cloud helps you do that. It's massively scalable, right? And you're able to handle demand and use capacity only based on what you need. So you're not having to pay 
for all the hardware all the time. So that, that I think is, is a pretty important uh, justification for the use of cloud. Recently, we've also made a lot of improvements in, in security and privacy in the cloud area as well. I mean, that's another reason why you can now design and engineer and deploy solutions that actually keep security and privacy in mind as well. I think these are some of the key benefits and reasons as to why you know a lot of our customers are, are choosing our cloud solution. Even though it's important to note that we've always been designed to run on-prem and our products are architecturally identical, whether they're running on the cloud or on-premise.